Captain, good to see you. I found refuge in a city that doesn't belong to Abundance, if you can believe it. But it seems that Victor managed to infiltrate it. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but if you have any information on this... We're talking about an act of aggression toward a foreign power, and what I'm telling you is akin to treason, Zachariah. It's almost sure that Victor is preparing an attack upon our refuge city, but not with our own troops. From what I was told, he has hired mercenaries and even embedded some of his men. The craziest part of the story is that he's preparing a war without an army, with the sole goal of capturing you. At this stage, that verges on psychosis. He's obsessed with you. Watch out. He's becoming more and more vicious. He won't stop at anything to capture you and your Technomancer colleagues. Thank you, Captain. Hello there, Zachariah. What do I have the pleasure? I'm afraid that the ASC managed to infiltrate the city where I'm currently living. I thought that maybe you could help me. You seem to be up to date on what they do. Victor. Our nemesis. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Victor got his hands on a commercial caravan. Tortured its members in order to find out the location of their notorious secret city. The mysterious Noctis. He managed to send some of his men there. So take this with a grain of salt. But now I'm convinced Victor's got both mercenaries and religious dignitaries on ASC payroll there. Watch out, Zachariah. Thank you, Volkakov. I know the ASCs are not this, and I bet they got in pretending to be the crew of that caravan. They gotta be embedded in the population by now, hiding in plain sight. But they're pretending to be merchants among real merchants, that's not gonna fly too long. If they were smarter, they would have come in as refugees. Better start asking around. I'm sure folks aren't buying it.
Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? Hey, did you by any chance see a caravan come back from Ophir lately? Would have had some members who might have looked different than they did when they left. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And they're no regular merchants, that's for sure. They've been trying to blend in, imitate our accents, clothes, and all that. But not that well. They try damn hard, though. What happened to the real merchants? <laughs> no, forget it. I don't even want to know. It scares the hell out of me. Rather not know. Fair enough. Thanks. Exotic goods on the planet. All here, in one stall. I'm looking for information about a caravan that recently came back from Ophir. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. The merchants who aren't, you mean. Yes, I knew the caravan's chief. And, yeah, the one who came back kinda looks like him, but sure as hell doesn't act like him. This might sound crazy, but... Seems to me all those merchants were replaced with... I don't know, but they're not from here. And instead of selling their goods, they're busy asking around about the guards and stock and that sort of thing. Can you point them out to me? I could, but I won't. I don't want any involvement. I don't want to be replaced. I'll just tell you, they've been regular clients since they came back. Fair enough. I'll just keep an eye on your clients for a while. Thank you. Repent! We won't have access to the Blue Paradise so long as we are not all absolved of our sins! You came here to wash your soul? I had something else in mind. I came here to ask for some information regarding your parishioners. Did you notice any strange behavior among some of them? My parishioners' life is none of your business. You're not one of them, and yet you take the liberty of judging them based on your corrupt beliefs. You are not a believer. You are just one of those pragmatic cynicals, a bad seed. Listen, Preacher, we might have significant differences, but I'm sure that you only want the best of your flock. And I heard that a man from Abundance has tampered with some of them in order to conquer this city. I guess that he spoke badly about me because he knows that I'm against this invasion. I've seen too many people suffer from the war. And in addition to that, Abundance does not tolerate public temples, which would put an end to your lectures. An invasion? Really? By the shadows! That old son's henchman hadn't told me that! And my temple? You're saying that they're forbidden there? How awful! I must... I must stop that evil being! Send him back to roast under the nefarious beams of his master! I'm surprised his servants weren't mutants. But maybe they were in disguise. More pressing, however, is it that these servants have convinced some of my followers and now have come here to tempt me. Do not worry. The shadow has opened my eyes to save my soul. But has it done so for my followers? The mutation is preparing to make its way towards them. A pity. Can never be too careful with religious types, so I'll have to keep an eye on these folks. 
They can spread ideas like wildfire. So we know the spies are embedded in certain groups, but to find out who the spies are among them, we're gonna need to keep a constant eye on all of them. Can't do it on my own, though. I'm gonna need all my brothers and sisters to take turns, so we can stay discreet. Greetings, Zachariah. I'm gonna need everyone's help. ASC's infiltrated Noctis, and as you already know, that's not a good thing. We just got away from them. Why can't they just leave us alone? What? What do you want us to do about it? Most of us are terrified of them. They're immune to our powers. I understand your frustration and your fear. I wasn't there, and don't even want to imagine what they put you through. But we don't back down from fear. We're military. We fight. And I will be damned if we will back down from a few fucking ASC spies with lightning rods. I hope you can see our secrets at risk. But I agree, the best defense is a strong first attack. If we hide and wait for them, we put our secret even more at risk. So what do you propose we do? From what I can tell, the spies have weaseled their way into three groups. But we can't move until we know which members are from the ASC. Moles, disguise themselves as mercenaries, religious zealots, and even merchants. Then I'll dispatch some eyes to keep tabs on those groups. Thank you. We need to stay alert. The town has become a time bomb. I'm afraid our situation here is becoming precarious. I know. It's not like Dandolo wasn't warned. It's peculiar. He's likely planning something. Indifference isn't in his nature. After trailing the groups you mentioned, it's obvious that they each have a few people among them who aren't just looking for you, but... Purposely seeding unrest in the population, and maybe pushing for an uprising. Then we need to stop it. Here is a description of everyone we found. Give me your map. There. I've marked every place you can find them. Shouldn't be hard for you to get them now. Finally gets the message, they ain't wanted here. Just as long as it doesn't push Victor to send twice as many people back. Not a chance that Dandolo can't deny that ASC's a problem here. No.
Zachariah. I was just starting to worry. What for? Bad news, I'm afraid. The ASC's not only in Noctis, but they're starting to threaten its safety. I know you did what you could to get rid of their spies, but if you stay here, they'll come back. And now we may be open to a direct attack from abundance. I'm sorry, Zachariah. They're after you and your friends. I can't risk the safety of all my people for just you. So you're turning your back on us? No, no. I would never turn my back on a friend. I set a meeting for you with the Technomancers from Aurora. Their arms are open. You'll be safer from Victor with them by your side. You just can't stay here. Why are you helping me? A scratch on the back for what I hope will be a long-term relationship, Mr. Mancer. They'll meet you under one of their shadow paths. Take the map. You'll be well received. Now get going. As soon as you can gather your things and friends together. The longer you stay, the more danger those of us around you face. How'd you manage to get in touch with Aurora's Technomancers? It wasn't easy, but we have agents in all of the corporation cities. The equivalent of Nisha, but not as easy on the eyes, lives in Shadowlair and was our point on this little mission. Their Technomancers are quite knowledgeable, powerful, and I assume the idea of having one of their counterparts from Abundance join them and give them a little upper hand, probably put a few smiles on their faces. But their chief's name... It's slipping my mind. Profanity? No, something more. Uh, chastity, promiscuity, generosity... Yeah, that's the one. Their chief's named Generosity, I think. He's quite chummy with the Dowser wisdom, I hear. Shouldn't be too hard for him to make you feel welcome. So set your mind at ease.